Hey everybody! In this tutorial we are going to assign random colors to the elements of an object using OSL and 3ds Max 2020. In this example scene our donut needs some nice rainbow sprinkles rather than these gross gray ones. What I've done here is scattered a single sprinkle across the icing using the scatter modifier which has created a single object made of elements in this case and we want to randomly change the color of those elements. But how can we do that? There are a few different ways. One is using the multi sub object material, which is the old fashioned way. That would look something like this. But we're not going to do that. We are going to use OSL, or Open Shading Language, which Autodesk introduced into 3ds Max 2019. Why are we going to use it? Because it's easy to set up, it looks good, and this example will give us a little taste of the power of OSL. If you want an introduction to what OSL is, there are lots of resources out there, and I'll link a few in the video description. But you don't need to know anything about OSL to follow along with this tutorial. So the first thing we need to do, no matter what method we use, is to give each element, or each sprinkle in this case, a random material ID. And to do this, we will use the good old fashioned material by element and create five different material IDs. Then we'll need to go into the material editor and build our OSL material. We're going to use three OSL maps and a physical material to do this. First things first, we'll apply our physical material to our sprinkles. And then we're going to attach the OSL 105 color. Now what this node does is create five different colors, or you can pipe maps also into these. And the index determines which color is being piped out of the output. For example, if we put this here, we'll see that index 0, or this color, is piped out into our physical material. If we change the index to 1, we'll see 1, and 2 will be green, etc. Now, what this is doing over here is just giving us one color at a time. What we want is random colors for our sprinkles, not just one kind. So, the next node we need is the OSL random index by number or color. What this does is randomly choose a number between the minimum and max using a combination of the seed and an input number. Let's plug this in here, the index. And we'll see that right now it is randomly chosen, it looks like, input 3, or index 3. Now we still have uniform colors over here. And let's double check in our shaded view. Our active shade, that is indeed what we're seeing. I'll leave this open. We need one more node to get the sucker working. And that is the OSL material ID. And in this case, what this will do is grab the material ID from the object that this material is assigned to, pipe it through the random index, and it'll randomly chooses one of these colors to assign to our sprinkles, which looks pretty cool. If we want to change up the seed and get a different result, we can do that too. And there you have it. Random colors assigned to the elements of an object using OSL and 3ds Max 2020. Thanks for watching.